Hello guys, welcome back to C's Creation. This is C. And I have a lot of, you know, things to reveal. Um, so I'm going to start first by with Coffee Kinky Crafting, who is um, Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill's group. And she is here on YouTube by that name. So, um, she hosted a swap, and it was a Halloween swap. It was, um, Poodles Halloween Treat, um, Treat Box. So, I received mine back quite some time, but guys, I haven't looked, um, I haven't had a chance to... Um, go through the box because I've been so busy but I'm going to start off with the first one and so what we had to do is make three boxes and then we can you know make a third box or bag it was our choice to design it the way we want it to so it says uh, yeah it's Poodle's Halloween Treat Box Swap and this is from um, Jen Walker she is inspired by on you on, on instagram she doesn't have a youtube she uh included this cute tag here and her information is there she decorated <coughs> this bag i think she had at hobby lobby i'm not for sure but she decorated this bag here and then she added this cute little clip here with the ghost. I like this. This is so cute. And this is uh, acrylic, guys. So, um, I don't know where she got this piece from, but I, I do like it. <laughs> and then get a close pin there. So, let me just take everything out the bag and set it aside. So I'm going to start off with this one right here. And it says, Happy Halloween. You have your witch hat here. You have two ovals um, layered. And it says, Happy Halloween with your candy corn there. And a little spider web sticking out here. So um, she made this little bag. I don't know if she made it from an envelope or... Um, what not but she she did make this bag <clears throat> and inside is some goodies which have a, a sour charm pop with two sour uh pops here from charms some washi tape some halloween um confetti here consists of pumpkin pumpkin spiders um, and spider webs and a sample of washi she also included these candies here I just picked out three so you can see the kinds that they are and she included this sequence mix and guys she came in right on time with this sequence mix because I do not have any this size so, let me put this to the side. And in this bag, she decorated this bag topper. Um, I like this, uh, this paper, guys. It's so pretty. And she made a rosette, put a witch's hat up here. <clears throat> This is double paper. This is double sided paper. I don't know where she got the paper from, but I love it. Okay. So, and this one, she had, and I'm going to start with this one. And here she included the first box here. This is a 
three by three box, I believe. Three by two box. I'm not for sure. But she made um, a flower with some trim. And she uh, added the skeleton here. Love that gorgeous paper. And she wrapped it with this um, brick rag. Uh, trim and then she went back over it with some green ribbon love that idea oh and I love the skull look at that she included three blings at the bottom you have some polka dotted paper and inside this is what it looks like set that here and here is the tag for this bo that box. So you, and you have your two from here. So nice. And this is one by one box, guys. And here you have your little spider, your webbing, excuse me, and a spider web. I'm sorry. And it's wrapped with some tool. And here's my to and from tag. This is how it looks. She stamped on some spiders. Add to and from on the inside. And it's decorated in the spider pattern paper here. And this is the box. So pretty. I love this paper. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to get it to open because she don't have a notch. And inside, this is what it looks like. So, this is for this box. I'm going to put this on here. For the third box, oh my gosh, let me put this together. This is so cute. I love this paper. Um... This is, uh, this is a lay flat box. And this is how it looks. You have your rosette, some um, Halloween tool here, and a pumpkin that she painted silver. She added some bling there. And here you have uh, her pattern paper with pumpkins on it. It's all the way around the box so that is that one and her tag for this is this cute little tag here and you have your tune from on the back um, I don't know where this came from but uh, she made another brush that she made this ribbon and ghost I absolutely love it it's so adorable she added these wiggly eyes here um, with a little bow and she just did brown guys a serious just did brown with that eyes with a little top hat it would be it from um, <laughs> Adam's family that's cool that's cool So I'm trying to. Oh my gosh! I don't have to. Okay. I'm trying to get this open, guys. So bear with me. I don't. Okay. There we go. Okay. So yes, we had to make embellishments too. So for her embellishments, she um double matted. Uh, no, she matted this black uh, paper onto this pattern paper. She put foam dots uh, for the black paper and she added this uh, wood veneer um, ghost here. Some tomb, a tombstone uh, confetti and it says trick or treat there. And this one says Happy Halloween. Same, same concept with the 
purple instead of the silver tombstone. And on this one it says spooky. And on this one says October 31st. Same concepts, but with the bats. And these are the rings, guys, that you can just clip off and use as embellishments. She embossed the paper, as you can see, and placed it on here, which is a clever, clever, clever idea. And I guess this was the topper for the, that bag. I don't know what bag this came from. But I guess this is one of the toppers that fell off. So this is it for Jen, guys. So let me move Jen out the way so I can get to my next uh, per partner in my group. And it comes in this gorgeous bag, guys. Look how pretty. And her name is Lillian. And she is uh, Lily's uh, crafting corner here on uh, craft corner here on YouTube. She is also part of uh, um, both of our groups on Facebook. So, and she's a great crafter, guys. So, if you have time, please go by and um, and subscribe to her channel. It will be very much appreciated. And if you're on, um, if you're on Instagram, go over to Jen's uh, page and follow her as well. I'm sorry, it was something in here that fell off. Okay, it was a bat. So, my first thing. Um, I think this is a tarot card, and this is the world, and this is how it looks, it's just, this is a tag, and this how it is, so super cute, and then another, another small tag, it has a spider on it here, to and from on the back, and you got this black and white twine here. And this one has uh, a crow with the same black and white twine. And you have this box here. It says sometimes when dealing with people, you can't help but to but to but stop and think. Yep, I'm about to make my first voodoo doll. <laughs> oh my god. So this is the box. I love this cluster of flowers. You have uh, four silk flowers, some pearl sprays here, um, fabric, two fabric flowers up underneath that. If you can see, I hope you can. And she has some gems. And on this side, you have some paper flowers here. So cute, so gorgeous. Look at the box, guys. Absolutely love it. I think this is washi, and she just uh, used her. Um, I think this is Martha Stewart uh, blood uh, punch here. How cool is that? All the way around the box, guys. So super cool. And a lot of work. Oh, I love this. And inside it says, Once Upon a Time. So, I love it. Love it, love it. Inside, this is how it, everything looks. So pretty. Love the shred. Love the shred. Love everything. So, so cute. Okay, so the first box is this box over here. It's this die cut. She popped up on Pop Docs. She had these sprays, and it's an image of a black of a bat and a dolly here. So I'm going to take this off, and this is the box. Lillian did some something similar to what I did. This is so cute. It's so cute. Absolutely love it. And it says poison here. So cool. So cool. And inside you have this crow. Right there with the red eye. So cool. 
love it, love it, love it. And the next one is the uh, one by one. And it comes with a bat and this like flower here. And it's uh, wrapped with paper. And so I'm trying to see. Interesting items. This is what it says inside here. And inside this is what it looks like. Mm. Toad warts. <laughs> that is so cute. Cute. <laughs> so yeah. Stay away from toads, guys, if you don't want warts. <laughs> okay, next is oh gosh, let me get this. Um, the shred. Okay. So I have these. In this pouch, I think these are extras that she just made. And this is another twin from this journal card here. And you have this orange, orange yarn. And this, in this envelope, it says someone digging in the, someone digging in the ground. And you have this black, uh, flower that she dyed this applique that she dyed with a purple uh, bling and a red on the um, side red bling on the side here you have the stick pin that she made it has this bow right here sorry guys red gem and on the um side she has these two flowers that she dyed it's cute or she going and missed it this is cute. And here she has the stick pins, which is hair. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the Wizard of Oz. She has this, uh, I'm not sure if you can, um, so I'm hoping you can see, uh, see that. I'm sorry guys, I'm on live frame. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So cute. I, I love it. I love it. I might find some visitor raw paper. That would look good in a mini album. And here is a tag. It says, an unfortunate ending. The black cat popped up on Pop Dots. And she has silver, I mean pink eyes. So dang cute. And here's the bag, and it's Star Wars on the back. And this one, she has black flowers with bling and a brown flower with bling. Spider popped up on pop dots with, um, that looks like copper eyes. And it says, by the door of, of a tomb. So super cute. And this is what her tags look on the inside. I mean her envelope looks on the inside. And okay, let me let me put this together guys so that you can see it because it's staying flat. So this is what this looks like. You have your two flowers here. And this is what all the way around the box looks like. So I'm going to open it now. And then you have the switches hat and foam here. And there you, there you have it for this one. Last but not least, her embellishments. And she made, and here they are. Okay, so I know you can't see that well, so I'm trying to take it off as easy as I can. Here you have an envelope. Um, um, yeah, an envelope has a little. I don't think it has a little paper inside. Little tags. Um, folder that you can use. 
Uh, and we have um, another envelope that has a tag. Black bling, black, black bling going down the middle. And you have this tag here, same thing. Um, black bling going down the middle. And here, here's what the paper looks like. Again, again, when you fold it. And it's the same concept as the last one. It's just the papers are just switched. Yeah. So this is from Lillian, guys. Um, I would give you... Um, uh, all of her information, but if not, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. So, uh, please go on and check out these lovely ladies. And if you are a crafter and love to craft, head on over to uh, crafting, um, Coffee Cake and Crafting. Where again, Tiffany, Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill is the founder of... And guys, if you're going to join, make sure you're serious in crafting. Don't join just to join, please. And then, please also be mindful. Be mindful of um, of uh, of joining any group because whether you believe it or not, we are the crafting world, and we all talk, and we are friends with you don't know who. So please, you know we do you know check you out so please guys come to swap come to have fun you know come to chat we love all that show off your projects um swap do our challenges we would love to have you but only if you're a serious crafter and if you're not if you if you don't feel like just crafting you want to show off your crafts please do so but don't come to, Come to Coffee Cake and Crafting or any group, and just and just uh, make make drama. That's that's not a place for Coffee Cake and Crafting. And please also, you know, do unto others as you want them to do unto you. If you don't want it done to your to you, don't do it to others. That's just a model. This is something that we learned when we was in preschool. It's like keep your hands to yourself if you don't if no one if you don't want anyone to hit you. So other than that, I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. I pre appreciate all of my subscribers and the ones that are new. Thank you for tuning in to Seas Creation. And if I would truly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button, click that bell so you can get notifications when I am uploading another video. Thank you so, so much for taking out your time to look at Seas Creation. Till next time, be blessed. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.